Every time. Okay. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice, justice for all. Why are we in the roll call vote? Because Mike's remote. Okay. Hi, everyone. So tonight, um, we're going to have a roll call vote because Selectman Doyle is permissive for participating remotely. So everything has to be done by roll call vote. Um, the first order of business is to receive oral communications from members of the public. Members of the public may address the select board for up to three minutes, longer with the permission of the chair. The select board will not engage in discussion on topics raised during public comment, but may choose to add the topic to a future agenda. This agenda segment will be limited to 15 minutes unless extended at the discretion of the chair. Do we have any public comment tonight? Are these new chairs? Much less. You speaking. noticed. That <laughs> <laughs> public and these new chairs. <laughs> Where's my squeak? <laughs> I have, there's no public comment tonight. Uh, so board and committee reports. Um, the report of the chair, I have none this week. Uh, grants, gifts, and donations. I will entertain a motion to accept a donation, Council on Aging donation from the Central Congregational Church, their chocolate tour for wow. $2,000. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Motion to send a thank you note. I'll second that. Uh, roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Uh, Council on Aging donation, um, L. Jackson for $10. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Council on Aging donation for, from J. Grogan? Motion. $3. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? <laughs> yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Uh, Council on Aging donation from Jean Nichols for $20. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, <laughs> roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Uh, public hearings, there are none. Uh, new business. We have a request to approve a letter of recognition for Eagle Scout Katie Markey Dennis of Troop 41. <laughs> Motion to approve. Second. Okay, discussion. Congratulations. Yes. yes. Super. That is, I'm just going to read the letter. On behalf of the Newbury Select Board in the town of Newbury, I write to congratulate you upon your achievement in attaining the high honor of Eagle Scout. Becoming an Eagle Scout is an outstanding achievement that reflects your hard work and dedication. Your accomplishment serves as an example of excellence and a source of pride for your community. Best wishes to you for continued success in school, scouting, and in all your endeavors. It is young people like you who make the future promising for our country. Sincerely, Newbury Select Board. So, bravo, Katie. Um, next item... Did you do oh, a roll call? I need a roll call, call vote. Call. Sorry. Yep. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Um, uh, next, we have an appointment for the Human Resource Board. Lynn Chady, and I apologize if I um, messed up the pronunciation, for a three year term. Can I have a motion? Mo motion to accept. Second. Uh, okay. Discussion. I believe Lynn is here tonight. She is. Yes. Hi, Lynn. Do you want to come up and say something? First of all, thank you for volunteering your time. Sure. With thank the, you for considering my, my application of interest for sitting on the Human Resources Board. Um, I just moved to, uh, as I mentioned in my email um, earlier, uh, I just moved to Byfield and I am excited to get involved in the community here and so I saw that this position was open and I thought, oh, that would be a great way for me to be able to give back to the community and I have a strong human resources background and um, yeah, if you have any questions for me, I'm happy to entertain them. And um, Okay, great. Um, your, your resume well, is, amazing. is amazing. Yeah, she has an amazing background. 
Yes, I s agree with Selectman Doyle. Uh, Jeff, any comment? No. No, Dan? no thanks for replying. That's yeah. great that you're willing to come here and pitch in. So. Yeah, Bet. thank you. Okay, so I'll entertain a motion to approve. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Now, uh, next item on the agenda is to an appointment to the Municipal Vulnerability Task Force. Samantha Holt? Motion to approve. Second. Uh, any discussion? As the conservation agent, she's really a vital part of that group. Um, um, okay, roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Um, we have an appointment for a full-time patrolman for Alexander McMullen. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? Chief, did you want to speak to this at all? Sure, I can give you a little background on him. So there's a vacancy uh, with the resignation uh, of one of the officers, one of the full-time positions. He's moving on to a different uh, area in law enforcement. Um, so this is not a new position. This is uh, a vacancy. Uh, Mr. McMullen is a graduate of the Municipal Police Training Committee uh, Ac Academy. Uh, he graduated in January of 2020. So he's got all the certifications, all the qualifications needed for that. He's also a certified uh, training in the military police, uh, as a military police officer, he's active in the National Guard. So he's got a, a very strong, solid background and he's gonna be a welcome and very good fitting addition to our department. Great, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, roll call vote, Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Uh, now we have Town of Newbury business license renewals. Uh, the first one is A&M Motors, Inc., Anthony Barbaris, 4 to 6 New Report Turnpike, buy and sell secondhand vehicles. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call vote, Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Um, Mohammed Al Madani, ABA Ampet, 34 High Road, General Business, Auto Marine Gasoline Sales, Automotive Repair, and Sale of Related Goods. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Um, again, Ampet Inc. for Mohammed Al Madani, 34 High Road to buy and sell secondhand vehicles, online sales only. Motion to approve. Second. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Uh, Schneller, BMW, Performance, DBA, Michael Morris, 26 Middle Road, Unit 1, General Business Automotive, uh, subject to the restrictions and conditions of the special permit issued on 2-26-1986. And the variance issued on 11 17 1994 by the zoning board, by the Newbury Zoning Board for the property at 24 Middle Road. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Lisa Porter, DBA Seacoast Horse and Pet Sitting, 48 Old Raleigh Road, General Business. Motion uh, to approve. The Animal Care Boarding and de Dog Daycare Pet Sitting. Motion to approve. Second. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. Uh, J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Newbury Auto Sales, Inc. James R. Motskin, 16 Newbury Port Turnpike. Buy secondhand vehicles for the purpose of remodeling, taking apart, or rebuilding and selling the same, or the buying and selling of parts of secondhand motor vehicles or tires for the assembly of second-hand motor vehicle parts. Motion to approve. Second. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeffrey Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. William DeFrancesco, Stowaway Storage, DBA Newbury Self Storage, 131 New Report Turnpike, General Business Self Storage. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Sarah Van Gulden, manager, DBA Adlin Rood, Conference and Retreat Center, 46 Elm Street, Common Victuler. Motion to approve. Second. 
Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Auto Works of Hampton Falls, Inc., care of Edwin Carrier and Michael Tartaglioni, 88 Newburyport Turnpike, buy and sell secondhand vehicles. Motion to approve. Second. Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. We have a one day liquor license. I'm going to recuse from the next one, the next two. Okay. We have a one day liquor license application. Mercury Brewing and Distribution Company, Spencer P.S. Little Farm, Old Newbury Bonfire. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, any discussion? Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. We also have a one-day liquor license application from Mercury Brewing and Distribution Company, Spencer P.S. Little Farm, Old Newbury Bonfire. No, oh. I'm sorry, I read that one. One day liquor license application, 1634 Meadery LLC, Spencer P.S. Little Farm, Old Newbury Bonfire. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Oh, I'm sorry, he <coughs> recused. Uh, Alicia Greco? Yes. Um, do we know what the date of the, new, of the bonfire is? I think do it was we? January 15th. I have to look at the license. January 15th. Let's see. January 15th. Yeah. Yep. She's got it, Mike. Yeah. Okay. Uh, January 15th. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we have a new liquor license, Plum Island Blue, LLC. We've received approval from the ABCC. Uh, the select board needs to approve signing of the Town of Newbury liquor license certificate. Motion to approve the signing of the Town of Newbury liquor license certificate. Second. Is there any discussion on this? Any questions from the board? Nothing. Okay. Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. We have an approve a change of management application for Old Town Country Club. So motion to approve. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Now we have annual liquor license renewals. Um, these get kind of, these are important and they're important to, as a licensing authority and it's important to the businesses. So um, I'm going to go through these kind of slowly to make sure that we get them correct. Um, under Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 138, we need to review and approve 2022 retail liquor license re renewals. So um, Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 138, Section 15 is the off-premise license of all alcohol as follows. So um, do you want to read this, Jaya? Yeah. Well, uh, this would be for license number 89184PK0794, Adele Scribe ODBA Corner Covered for Hanover Street. I move to approve the 20, 2022 retail license renewal for Adele Scribe DBA corner covered. However, the license shall not be issued until the file following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license, management, premises, or other ABCC requirements be received from the ABCC, and two, that a receipt of a workers' compensation insurance affidavit. Do I have a second? Second. Okay, any discussion? A roll call vote. Oh, I'm sorry. Real quick, is there something more? I mean, is there something going on here that, that it was all said? No, this is it's just, just typical. This it's, is the, it's the it, it, it's the le it's the legalese we we have to read through to yeah, make it all. It's, it's the legalese of the why we have to read it. That's that's why I said it's we got to go through it slowly. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Thank you for asking. All right. So Mike Doyle. Yes. Jeff Walker. Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Okay, this is license number 0007PK0794. 
the Sylvanowitz Family Associates, DB Incorporated, DBA D and J Liquors, 53 Main Street. Can I have I'm, a motion? I move to approve the 2022 retail license renewal for Sylvanowitz Family Associates Incorporated, DBA D and J Liquors. However, the license shall not be issued until the following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license management premises or other ABCC requirements to be received by the ABCC. And two, a receipt of a workers' compensation insurance affidavit. I have a second. Second. Okay, any discussion? Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. So this is license number 00010 PK0794, Plum Island Fine Wine and Spirits Incorporated, DBA The Cottage Wine and Spirits, 14 Plum Island Boulevard. I move to approve the 2022 retail license renewal for Plum Island Fine Wine and Spirits Incorporated, DBA The Cottage Wine and Spirits. However, the license shall not be issued until the following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license management premises or other ABCC requirements be received from the ABCC in receipt of a workers' compensation insurance affidavit. And can I have a second? second. Uh, Jeff, second. second. Okay. Any discussion? Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Okay, next is Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 138, Section 15, off-premise licenses for wine and malt, as follows. License number 00009PK0794, Pizza Factory Incorporated, DBA Plum Island Provisions, 29 Plum Island Boulevard. I move to approve the 2022 retail license renewal for Pizza Factory Incorporated, DBA Plum Island Provisions. However, the license shall not be issued until the following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license management premises or other ABCC requirements be received from the ABCC in receipt of a workers' compensation insurance affidavit. Second. Second. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Okay, next is license number 00018PK0794, The Butchery Incorporated, DBA Newbury Butchery, 2 Morgan Ave. I move to approve the 2022 retail license renewal for The Butchery Incorporated, DBA Newbury Butchery. However, the license shall not <coughs> be issued until the following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license management premises or other ABCC requirements be received from the ABCC in receipt of a workers' compensation insurance affidavit. Second. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. License number 88921, PK0794, Bram C1 LLC, DBA Bram C1 LLC, 6 Fruit Street, Unit D. I move to approve the 2022 retail license renewal for Brahm C1 LLC, DBA Brahm C1 LLC. However, the license shall not be issued until the following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license management premises or other ABCC requirements be received from the ABCC in receipt of a workers' compensation insurance affidavit. Second. Uh, any discussion? Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Um, so next is the Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 138, Section 12, Licenses Authorizing Sale of Beverage to be Drunk on Premise, Wine and Malt. So license number 04762RS0794, Bob Lobster, 49 Plum Island Turnpike. I move to approve the 2022 retail license renewal for Bob Lobster. However, the license shall not be issued until the following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license management premises or other ABCC requirements be received from the ABCC. Issuance of a certificate of inspection. <coughs> receipt of the liquor liability insurance certificate. And receipt of a workers' compensation insurance affidavit. Second. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. 
Jeff Walker? Yes. Jay Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. And the next is Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 138, Section 12, Licenses on th Authorizing Sale of Beverage to be Drunk on Premise, Wine, and Malt for a Club. We're going to approve this um, uh, license number 00002CL0794, Old Town Country Club, Marsh Ave. We're going to approve this license with the current manager, Christopher Muse. I move to approve the 2022 retail license renewal for Old Town Country Club Incorporated. However, the license shall not be issued until the following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license management premises or other ABCC requirements be received from the ABCC. Issuance of a certificate of inspection. Receipt of the liquor liability insurance certificate. And receipt of a workers' compensation insurance affidavit. Second. Second. Any discussion? Uh, roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.L. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco, yes. So we have Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter one, uh, 138, Section 12, licenses authorizing the sale of beverages to be drunk on premises, all alcohol. License number 03245RS0794, the Rusty Can LLC, DBA Rusty Can, 9 Fruit Street. I move to approve the 2022 retail license renewal for Rusty Can LLC, DBA Rusty Can. However, the license shall not be issued until the following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license management, premises, or other ABCC requirements be received from the ABCC. Issuance of a certificate of inspection. Receipt of the liquor liability insurance certificate. In receipt of a workers' compensation insurance affidavit. Second. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. Jaya Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. License number 00020CL0794, Old Newbury Golf Club Incorporated, DBA Old Newbury Golf Club, 319 Newburyport Turnpike. I move to approve the 2022 retail license renewal for Old Newbury Golf Club Incorporated, DBA Old Newbury Golf Club. However, the license shall not be issued until the following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license management premises or other ABCC requirements be received from the ABCC. Issuance of a certificate of inspection. Receipt of the liquor liability insurance certificate. In receipt of a workers compensation insurance affidavit. Second. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. License number 00021RS0794, Plum Island Beachcomber Incorporated, DBA Plum Island Beachcomber, 23 Plum Island Boulevard. I move to approve the 2022 retail license renewal for Plum Island Beachcomber Incorporated, DBA Plum Island Beachcomber. However, the license shall not be issued until the following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license management premises or other ABCC requirements be received from the ABCC. Issuance of a certificate of inspection. Receipt of the liquor liability insurance certificate and receipt of a workers' compensation insurance affidavit. Second. Any discussion? The roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. License number 00016RS. 0794 Plum Island Grill Incorporated, DBA Plum Island Grill, 2 Plum Island Boulevard, Newbury, Mass. I move to approve the 2022 retail license renewal for Plum Island Grill Incorporated, DBA Plum Island Grill. However, the license shall not be issued until the following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license management premises or other ABCC requirements be received from the ABCC. Issuance of a certificate of inspection receipt of the liquor liability insurance certificate, and receipt of a workers' compensation insurance affidavit. Second. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. License number 0614RS0794, 
Sunset Club LLC, DBA Sunset Club, 2 and 8 R Old Point Road, Newberry. I move to approve the 2022 <clears throat> retail license renewal for Sunset Club LLC. However, this license shall not be issued until the following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license management premises or other ABCC requirements be received from the ABCC. Issuance of a certificate of inspection. Receipt of the liquor liability insurance certificate. And receipt of a workers' compensation insurance affidavit. Second. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Now, this is Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 138, Section 12, Licenses Authorizing the Sale of Beverages to be Drunk on Premises, All Alcohol in a Hotel. License number 06455HT0794, Plum Island Blue, LLC, Blue Inn on the Beach, 18 to 20, 20 and 22 Fordham Way, Newbury. I move to approve the 2022 retail liquor license for Plum Island Blue LLC, DBA Blue Inn on the Beach. However, the license shall not be issued until the following criteria have been met. Approval of any changes in the license management premises or other ABCC requirements be received from the ABCC. Issuance of a certificate of inspection. Receipt of the liquor liability insurance certificate receipt of a workers compensation insurance affidavit second any discussion roll call vote mike doyle yes jeff walker yes jr colby yes alicia greco yes now i need a vote to sign the abcc renewal certificate for 2022 motion to sign the abcc renewal certificate certification for 2022 second second any discussion? Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Can we all be in a sign up sometime tomorrow? I think as long as we have the um, a majority, we don't need to. I'm, 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 I'm going to stop in anyway, so okay. anything that has to be signed in, I'll sign. Okay. Um, we yeah. have. A vote to sign the ABCC 2022 seasonal population increase estimation form. Uh, I move to sign the ABCC 2022 seasonal population increase estimation form. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Wow. Hello. That was done. I make a motion to wake up. Yeah. Um, what's going on? <clears throat> Under old business, I have none. The town administrator's report, I'm going to come back to that. Correspondence. We have a letter from Xfinity regarding changes to Xfinity services. And we have a letter from Comcast regarding fee increases. Oh, I'm surprised. <laughs> what do you know? Um, so it says at Comcast, we are always committed to delivering the entertainment and services that matter most to our customers in your community, as well as exciting experiences they won't find anywhere else. We are also focused on making our network stronger in order to meet our customers' current needs and future demands. As we continue to invest in our network products and services, the cost of doing business rises. Rising programming costs, most notably for broadcast TV and sports, continue to be the biggest factors driving price increases. While we absorb some of these costs, these fee increases affect service pricing. As a result, starting December 20th, 2021, prices for certain services and fees will be increasing, including the broadcast TV fee and the regional sports network fee. Please see the enclosed customer notice for more information. In addition, to, in addition to the price changes noted on the enclosed customer notice, customers subscribing to Performance Starter Internet at $54.95, which is no longer available for new subscriptions, will receive additional notice of a price change to the service from $54.95 to $59.95 per month as part of the letter accompanying their customer notice. 
Lastly, effective December 31st, NBC Sports Network, NBCSN will cease operations. We know you may have questions about these changes. If I can be of any further assistance, please do not hesitate to contact me at Patrick underscore Shearns, S-H-E-A-R-N-S, at Comcast.com. So any of our residents that have any questions, you contact him. And if, um, you can always reach out to Julie, and she can give you that information mm -hmm. if, if needed. Um, I'm going to go back to the town administrator's report. Yep. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. The, I'm happy to report to you guys that the landfill solar initiative is actually moving forward. I think it will be before the planning board tomorrow night. Is that correct? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not catching this. And you're all welcome to attend. The solar um, project will be before the planning board tomorrow night. Did you hear that, Mike? Yeah, I heard that. Okay. Um, it's been, gosh, four years? It's actually, I think we issued the RFP in August of 2017. 2017. So it's been a long time coming. It's, um, you know, anytime you're doing something on top of a capped landfill, naturally, it's, it's pretty complex in terms of um, environmental and geotechnical and DEP permissions and everything, but it is moving forward. The Conservation <clears throat> Commission has issued the order of conditions that was done back this summer, um, and then again, it will be before the planning board tomorrow night, so it is moving forward. Uh, is that a, a decent size solar array? Um, it's 582.4 kilowatts DC, so it's, you know, it's not a huge system, but it, the site's not, not Great. Was this kind of what Damon started? Or yes. Yes. Good for Damon. Yep. It's decent. It's a decent size system. Challenges to put it on a site like that, but absolutely appropriate siting. Oh, yes. I mean, to, you know, it definitely belongs on brown fields and landfills and rooftops, as opposed to disturb. It's going right, to cutting down land. a forest to cover in farmland. So this is a win, no matter what size it is. Mm. Yeah. The um, PEG intern program is now live. It's up and running um, thanks to Ethan and our IT director, Matt uh, Cooper and Bob Lathrop. They all Great. coordinated, worked together. They've you know, established the program. It's up and going and they're hoping by this spring to, to be offering like a full co-op type of um, program. Great. So the wireless communications bylaw also known as the Jeff Walker bylaw. Mm -hmm. uh, the planning board has also begun discussing an update to our existing bylaw and currently plans to include um, an update on the annual town meeting that's, warrant. That's the goal. Yeah. So, and, and one more question, Martha. So, and I think it's great in some respects that technology is starting to go towards like repeaters on telephone poles rather than cell towers? Is that what's ahead for us? Um, well, that's certainly, yeah, that's part of the technology. And that will be something in addition to the bylaw update we get a, a, a grant of location so that the select board can approve these in the town's right of way. The planning board did do a test, right? Didn't they run a test like two years ago or last year or something? Um, the planning board had a consultant working with us on the update of the bylaw who did a drive-through right. um, of the town for both um, for AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon uh, showing the areas that had good coverage, sort of medium coverage and poor coverage. Well, so you and have that data. We have that mm -hmm. data. And I mean, the reason that, you know, Martha and I have talked about this quite a bit is in our part of town, because of Old Town Hill or whatever, and where the cell towers are right now, and it seems to emanate out to Plum Island, and everyone's working from home, and everyone has really let their line landlines go. I mean, it's, it's it's really it's gotten terrible, the cell tower. Mike had something to say. Yeah, yeah Jeff. Jeff, after you and I talked, I switched companies because I
that's good. That's good to that's good to know because yeah. it doesn't seem to matter which phone it is no, anywhere it's around my phone. house. It, it doesn't work very well. Yeah, I think it's a new it's a new five G um, technology. I, I don't know. I I don't understand it, but they say it goes from your phone right to the pole. Yeah, and, and, and the sad part of it is everyone. It's kind of unfair to have to think that everyone's going to have to upgrade their phone. Oh, I agree. So I, I totally agree, but it's like the Comcast bill going up tonight. <laughs> we get no yep. control over it. Well, good thing we didn't vote, Mike. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else, Tracy? Yep. Yeah, um, our you, IT department is also undertaking a new website initiative. Um, you may have noticed uh, it, on occasion things get stale on our website. It's never, you know, it's not. So we're not cutting edge. It's never <laughs> at the top of our priority list. So what they've done is um, they're going to give all the boards, committees, department managers access so that the, or the necessary credentials so that they can access it so that they can each keep their individual um, sections of the website current and That's up to good. date. That's yep. we, um, idea. Yeah. And... Um, I've been asked to serve as the municipal representative on Whittier's teachers contract negotiating team. So I, Neil usually does Triton, yeah. and I usually do Whittier. So um, thank you that for doing will be that. Starting soon, and town hall space needs. The review is underway. Martha and I have met several times. We took the old. Um, documents the previously prepared information we updated it and we got those off to um, context about two weeks ago or a week ago a week and a half ago um, so we're waiting to get some information back from him once we have that we'll present it to the board right for action and finally uh, well, almost finally, the 2023 budget is underway. The packets were sent out to the managers. I've already received a lot of them back. Special articles are going to be due on February 7th. I don't anticipate that we're going to have a tremendous amount of them. We're we're sticking with our um, our plan over the last five years. Not much has changed. Capital plan is in the process of being updated. Um, Ballot language. If there are any override questions that want to be presented for the spring, ballot language has to be to the town clerk no later than March 21st. That's the deadline for that. And the annual town meeting date would be held on April 26th, which is what we typically do the third, um, the last Tuesday in the month. And I don't know if you've been following, but the legislature has approved about a $4 billion spending plan. We've been working closely with Tara and Mayor's offices um, in providing them with listings of projects that Newbury would like to see included, whether or not any of them, you know, end up in the final bill. Uh, we don't know. State revenues are also up about 9% over their initial projections. Yeah. So there's gonna be a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. for funding this year. So we'll certainly be trying to take advantage of that. As of right now, the only thing that I've seen that is still currently there is the um, COA van replacement, which Cindy put in. So I'll keep you posted as that evolves. And that's it. Thank you. Well, just one question real quickly. Yes. Is there any update on the COA move? Any update on the Council on Aging move? Um, we have uh, advertised the procurement. We will plan to, the plan is right now that we would execute our lease agreement on December 24th, assuming all goes according to plan. And what then was the date on that? December 24th. Yep. At that point, um, Get we, a little interior work to do. Yeah, there's quite a bit of interior work. They estimated between five and seven weeks to complete the work. So we plan, you know, a move this spring. Okay. Are, they, are they putting in a rear door? I don't think we've got that far yet, have they? No, we haven't got the plans yet. They haven't got oh, that okay. far yet. There's going to be a second egress, but we don't know where yeah, yeah. exactly it's going to be. Concern. Yep. That was my concern. Yep. Thank you. Thank yep. you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, any meeting updates? I just went 
show the COA and the New York Police and the New York Board Bank went on a really nice luncheon yesterday for elderly fraud. They called it elderly fraud and scams, but I'm telling you, it's everyone. It's amazing yeah. what's happening right now. And I'm telling you, Tom Howard did a great job, great presentation. Um, a lot of things you don't think about anymore. Yeah, they 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 figured out. I mean, even even those QR codes, you gotta be careful using those. Yeah. There was a lot of. I hopefully somebody will put bullet points on the website because there was a lot of good information, and I really thank the bank, thank the bank for their donation, and the to the, the chiefs and uh, the COA. They did a good job. Cindy's here. She says thank you. <laughs> okay. Sandwich is good. Sandwich is good too, Cindy. <laughs> um, um, Congratulations, Cindy. Yeah, well done. Um, I have a meeting of the municipal of the Mass um, Fiscal Policy Committee, the MMA. They're meeting the 21st of December, so we'll see what that is. Um, we have a review of meeting minutes. We have. Uh, November 18th, select board minutes, and November 23rd, select board minutes. Motion to approve both. Second. Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? I can't vote on one, so I'll vote on the second. Which one do you want to vote on? Uh, the, the one that I'm at. <laughs> so I'm at the 23rd, I'm not at the 18th. Okay, so let's take them separate. Um, yeah. Motion to approve 11 18 21 meeting minutes. Second. Roll call vote. Uh, you weren't at that one, right? Not Not okay, brother. so um, Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. 1123, select board meeting minutes. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Uh, Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Warrants? We do have warrants. Motion to sign warrants. Second. Uh, all in favor? Well, Mike Doyle? Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Executive session none. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Roll call vote. Mike Doyle? Yes. Jeff Walker? Yes. J.R. Colby? Yes. Alicia Greco? Yes. Thank I'll you.